I think it was about January of uh, 2015 that I put up a video showing how you can adapt these cheap Poundland torches by filling the end with resin and ca encapsulating some electronic circuitry. In this case, it was a, a simple arrangement with an LDR, a light dependent resistor, um, and a resistor and a transistor, if I recall, recall correctly, plus another resistor to limit the current uh, to some LEDs connected via this connector and just all potted in so the, the resin protects it from moisture uh, and also lets enough light through to be detected by the LDR, the cadmium sulphide photocell. And it's now been out uh, with these lights connected. This is also an opportunity to test these um, lacquered wire lights which are basically it's transformer style wire, it's the copper wire with the lacquer on it and the surface mount LEDs are, it, it seems to be, it seems to go through a machine that just brings it up to a point, buffs the end or presses it flat and then solders an LED in it and then it goes through another part of the process that dips them in resin and uh, basically seals them and I thought that would be a good uh, chance to just test these and see how they fare out in the weather. So, ten months later, it's still going strong. No signs of corrosion, and even when you take the bottom off. Noting that I put a wee smear of Vaseline in this, partly to make it go in easier, and also to um, keep the, you know, to make a better seal. And there's no sign of water ingress. Although, this hasn't been pushed into the ground. It's actually been sat into a little a cup, but it does get a lot of water around the base. You can see the slight corrosion here where that's, you know, a slight tarnishing. Or just dirt, really, actually, because it's rubbing off. But, um, so that's uh, good. The switch hasn't given problems. The switch was still working. And the electronics were still working, and the LEDs are still working fine. So it's a, a win all round. The only place I saw a very tiny spot of corrosion was on the very last LED, because what they've done is they've basically uh, cropped it off at the very end in the last LED, and uh, that meant there were two little tail tips of the copper exposed. And where that was, uh, it's obviously the water has dripped down and, you know, hung in the end, and that um, had been obviously tracking across, even though it's low voltage, about probably 2.53 volts, uh, it had caused that sort of green verdigris effect because of the DC corrosion. So the only thing I'd say is that if you've got a set of these lights and you're going to put them outside, maybe just cut the last LED off. And um, if it's just one of these parallel circuits, and then stagger these leads, or just uh, put a wee dab of resin, or, or put something across the end to seal the end off. But um, yeah, that, that worked well. That uh, These little uh, copper lights seem to be very resilient uh, to weather. And these cases do actually keep the water out of the battery compartment, and uh, they work well. So yeah, good result.